Okay, guys, so we're having a quick look at the laws of exponents. We're only looking at three of them today, so there'll be another video coming out later this week. The first property is we're noticing that we have multiplication in this one right here. And when you have multiplication, you need to add the exponents together. So an example of that would be x to the second times x to the fourth, and we would add those exponents to get x to the sixth. Okay. The division property, when we see division happening, that's this one right here, um, is that we do need to subtract the exponents. So if we have a to the 10th power divided by a to the 3rd power, we would subtract those exponents to get a to the 7th power. And the last property we learned about is what if we have an exponent raised to another exponent? We call it power of a power rule. And what we do with this one is that we multiply the exponents together. So if I have b squared raised to the fourth power, 2 times 4 will give me b to the eighth power. So let's look at an example that's a little bit harder. Okay, one that maybe encompasses a few of these properties. So if we have 2xy squared times 4x to the third, y to the fourth, and then we're dividing it by, uh, let's see, 8xy. So in this, this one has multiple steps, so you can see that we do need to take care of the top first and multiply that out before we can divide. So let's multiply it out. First, the numbers that are not exponents are going to get multiplied like normal. So 2 times 4 is 8. Okay? And then we look at our exponents. We have x to the first power right here, and then we have x to the third power. Remember, when we're multiplying, we add those exponents. So 1 plus 3 gives us x to the fourth. Now we're looking at the y's. So we have y to the second and y to the fourth. 2 plus 4 is 6, so y to the sixth power. And then the denominator right here just moves, stays the same, 8xy. All right, so we've done the multiplication that was in the numerator up here. Now all we have left is division to take care of. Remember the division rule. When we are dividing, we subtract the exponents. So for our x's, we have 4 and 1. So 4 minus 1 will give us x to the third. And then 6 for the y. And then the bottom, that's also a 1. So 6 minus 1 gives us y to the fifth. Now what do we do with these numbers in the front? The same thing we would normally do. Divide them. 8 divided by 8 is 1. And you don't need to put the 1, so our answer is x to the third, y to the fifth. Okay? Just use these properties well, guys, and if you need more examples, um, you can either look up other videos on YouTube or ask your teachers. Thank you.